History of the Taj Mahal, Silent Witness to the Eternal Love Story from India. The Taj Mahal is one of the historic buildings as well as one of India's icons. If you haven't had the opportunity to see this building in India firsthand, maybe you have seen it in history books. In 1983, UNESCO even designated the Taj Mahal as one of the World Heritage Sites. The Taj Mahal is indeed very popular, but just like other beautiful buildings, the Taj Mahal was built not without meaning. Because behind this beautiful building there is also a historical story that you need to know. One, The Taj Mahal was built in honor of the wife of the ruler of the Mughal dynasty. At first glance, the Taj Mahal building looks like a large mosque complete with a large white dome. In fact the Taj Mahal was a burial place built as a tribute to Mumtaz Mahal, the wife of a Mughal emperor named Shah Jahan. Just like most other kings, Shah Jahan had many wives. But of all his wives, the emperor loved only one of his wives named, Mumtaz Mahal. The two were married in 1612. It was a pity that the marriage did not last long. Because in 1631 the wife died after giving birth to their 14th child. The passing of Mumtaz Mahal left Shah Jahal devastated. He also ordered the construction of a spectacular tomb for Mumtaz Mahal, not only as a proof of love, the construction of the Taj Mahal was also a tribute to his wife's loyalty during his lifetime. Two, It took 22 years to build the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is not only known for its history but also its spectacular buildings. It is undeniable that Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal with all his heart. The building with an area of 42 hectares is equipped with a large dome as high as 73 meters surrounded by four smaller domes around it. While the tomb is covered with white marble, Arabic calligraphy writing, as well as 28 types of semi-precious stones such as lapis lazuli, marble, jade, to crystals that are put together in a beautiful floral design. With all its luxurious details and design, it is no wonder that the construction of the Taj Mahal took a long time. Construction of the Taj Mahal began in 1631 and was only completed in 1653. Three, it takes 20,000 workers to produce a building as beautiful as the Taj Mahal. Building the Taj Mahal not only takes a long time, but also requires a lot of manpower. In addition to Ahmad Lahari who was responsible as the architect, the construction of the Taj Mahal was also carried out by many people. Not 10, or 20. The construction of the Taj Mahal for 22 years turned out to require manpower from 20,000 people. 
The workers came from various countries ranging from India, Persia, the Ottoman Empire and Turkey, to the Europeans who came to build mausoleums or towers that escorted the main building of the Taj Mahal. Four. It's not just humans, there are 1,000 elephants participating. It turned out that the construction of the Taj Mahal involved not only humans but also 1,000 elephants. Just like the workers, these elephants also worked for more than 20 years. But unlike the ordinary workers, the elephants are used to carry the building materials used for the Taj Mahal, especially the heavy building materials and cannot be carried by humans. Five. Shah Jahan is said to have cut off the thumbs of the workers and architects of the Taj Mahal. Behind its beautiful building, the Taj Mahal also turns out to have a pretty terrible story. A story circulated that after the construction of the Taj Mahal was completed, Shah Jahan cut off the thumbs of the architect and also all the workers involved in the making of the Taj Mahal. So that they could no longer make other buildings more beautiful than his Taj Mahal. Although the story is quite popular, but fortunately until now there is no real evidence of Shah Jahan doing that. Six. Sadly, Shah Jahan himself could not visit the Taj Mahal at the end of his life. Shah Jahan was the fifth Mughal emperor who succeeded in bringing the Mughal dynasty he led to its heyday. It's a pity that this emperor has a miserable end in life. Because nine years before he died, Shah Jahan fell ill. Instead of being sad, Shah Jahan's children were busy fighting for power. When the emperor recovered, his two sons of Mumtaz Mahal, Darashiko, and Aurangzeb, quarreled over the throne. Shah Jahan sided with Dara Shako even though his son eventually died at the hands of Aurangzeb. Not stopping there, after killing his brother, Aurangzeb also overthrew the rule of Shah Jahan in 1658 and imprisoned his father in the Agra fortress for life. In the last years of his life, Shah Jahan could no longer visit the Taj Mahal which was also the final resting place of his beloved wife. The only thing he could do was look at the Taj Mahal from a distance through the small gap that was in his prison. That's the historical fact of the Taj Mahal. Behind the beauty, it turns out that there is a sad story, right? <laughs>